Hi, I'm Natalie Rogues, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 9, Lesson 4. We're we'll going to start off by going over the ICON objective. It says, I can solve multiplication problems with fractions and mixed numbers to find the area of rectangles. The learning objective is to solve area problems with fractions and mixed numbers. The prior learning is that students represented the fraction a over b as the product of a and 1 over b. Students use the understanding that a multiple of a over b is a multiple of 1 over b to multiply a fraction by a whole number, and students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the lesson on page 229. It has step it up, problem number one reads, Tony hangs a plaque that is five and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches long. How much wall space does the plaque cover? So for A, it says write an equation to model the problem using fractions greater than one. So that means just take the mixed numbers and turn them into improper fractions. All right, so we know that if we're dealing with space, we're dealing with area, we need length times width, so we are going to be multiplying these numbers. So my five and a half, when I turn it into an improper fraction, I'm going to do two times five plus one. So two times five is 10, plus one is 11. So I'm going to have 11 over two, and then when I multiply, I'm going to do eight and a half, turn it into an improper fraction, so two times eight is 16 plus one is 17. So I'm gonna have 17 over two. For B, it says find the product from part A. So we are gonna be solving, and then it says what does this product represent? So first, let's go ahead and solve. So if I have 11 over two and I multiply by 17 over two, I need to multiply 11 times 17, so 11 times 17 is going to be 187. And then 2 times 2 is going to be equal to 4. So 187 over 4, it's asking what does this product or what does this answer represent? This is just showing the area of the plaque. Okay, so for C, it says how much wall space does the plaque cover? Well, if we're going to put it into units, this would be 187 over 4, and the units it gave me originally were inches. It said 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. So if we're dealing with area, this is going to be inches squared, and that squared is because we're dealing with two parts of a multiplication. So if we have two parts, the exponent is going to be 2, and then you say 2 as squared. All right, and then D, it says, what units did you use in your answer? So if I was writing this as not a symbol, but in words, I would write square inches. And explain my reasoning is what I just explained. So because they gave me that original inches as my measurement, and I'm taking two of them, and I'm doing it with area because I'm multiplying two things together, it is going to be squared inches. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. We're going to be on page 230. I'm going to read through the problem, explain as much as I can, and then I do want you to do these on your own. So for number two, it says, Emma works to clean paintings that have been covered with dust and dirt. She must work very slowly to protect the paint. Last week, she cleaned a painting that has an area of one and one-third square yards. This week, she cleans a painting that has an area that is one-sixth the area of her first painting. What is the area of the painting that she cleans this week? So for A, write an equation to model the problem. So you're just writing the equation, not solving it. You're solving it in B. Solve the equation to find the area of the painting, and then C, is your answer reasonable? This should be pretty quick. Go ahead and do these three problems and hit pause here. All right, great work. Let's go ahead and go over these. So for A, I'm just writing the equation. So if I have one and one third, and I know I need to find 1 16th of that, I'm going to multiply it by that 1 16th. 
And then I'm actually going to solve below. So I need to turn my one and one third into an improper fraction so that I can multiply. So three times one is three plus one is four. So I'm gonna have four over three and then I'm gonna multiply it by one over 16. Okay, if I am going to be multiplying, I'm gonna do four times one is four. And my denominators, three times 16, three times 16 is 48. And I am finding the area, so I'm gonna say four over 48, and the measurement or the unit that it used was square yards, so I would write that as yards yd with the exponent two for my squared. So we say four over 48 yards squared. And then C, is my answer reasonable? My answer is reasonable, so I'm going to put yes because I had one and one third and then I multiplied it by one sixteenth. I started with just over one and I multiplied it by a really small fraction, so my answer should be pretty small and it should definitely be less than one. So my, if my answer were like 300, right, that's not a reasonable answer because you're multiplying one by a fraction. So since my answer is four out of 48, it's a very small fraction, it is going to be reasonable. So I'm gonna say yes, because it's less than one. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I will see you for the next module, module 10, lesson one.